Hey! Man, there are a lot of people on today. More than usual. Might be because I'm doing it at a different time. Sixty-one percent! The number is go getting higher! Oh, hey! There's a bunch of people! I'm gonna start out... I, I kinda cheated a little bit. I had like a cheat- I had a cheat day and I played it off- I played it off camera a little bit. And before I do either of these- oh, well, Misty Bridges is pretty easy. Uh, yeah, I'll do this first. I did some exploring around Infinite Library. And I... There's a weird gimmick with this place. But it starts you out in the area with the, um... If you remember, we unlocked this place through a music box. In, it's like Whipped Cream World or something like that. But you notice the music is slowly fading out. I need to be careful too, because there's a shadow lady. <gasps> okay. <laughs> that was a wonderful noise that I just made. Not this way. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, I'll come back and do this later. Let's do the... Because if you get caught by the Shadow Lady, it makes the you can't find the area that that leads into. Okay, let's just go to Jigsaw Puzzle World. <laughs> the, the noise that I made, oh my god. Turned into a cartoon character. Wait. There you are. chicken. Oh, there was someone here. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, there it is. Eyeball bomb actually works here. I don't think it does. Just look at him go. I this one is particularly funny to me. Come on. There you are. So it's, it's a wee bit unresponsive. Yeah. 
And then submerged communications area. This is a pretty easy one since I have the sugar road connection. to, what was it called? Statue? Statue Forest. Ah, I see. It's hard to find a connection. Oh, purple, I see. stone buildings. I have to keep going over from here. Oh, there is a connection, thank god. <laughs> oh, that's a weird, that's a weird sound. this place. I remember it now. I got lost here for quite a bit. Unlock the shortcut. I have not. Right, that's the weird thing that sounds like a telephone. Dude. He's just vibing.
This is dreaded docks. Okay. Shouldn't try to be police. Also, I'm just stalling. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> Back up. Where is the monster's room? That's where I... Ah, I see. Okay, there's something in here. Ah, I'm, I walked right past it. crazy? I swear this worked before. Ah, there we go. I just had to wiggle around a little bit. Pizza monster. It's already been 15 minutes just for me trying and fumbling around to get to the stupid area.
Everyone plays the game in different in different ways. Finally, geez. Okay, so the Sugar Road path is technically faster. But I kind of just want to go to the Cypher keyboard. Also, I'm very excited because today is going to be the first day of playing Everhood, or at least recording playing Everhood. I played it, uh, three times at this point? Three or four? Though I think just by virtue of the, the replay battles, I've played it a lot more than three times. <laughs> just if we're counting, counting the battles as their own stuff. Spaceship, and then I, and then H. It was the left one, right? And then I kind of just follow the boat path from here. I don't actually know where I depart. Oh no, wait, I don't actually go depart there. I depart here, because Graffiti City is over, is right here. And the next up is Chalkboard Playground, right? It's, I, I seem to remember it's pretty easy to get there. Chalkboard Playground, yes. It's a little bit tricky to navigate, though.
Misty Bridges. And now, uh, try number two on Infinite Library. Not again. <gasps> oh, come on. Well, I hope this is at least entertaining. give it one more shot. I was doing pretty well, but I keep getting getting jump scared by the freaking shadow lady. God damn it. Why? <laughs> Go away. So it may as well spoil what happens. Uh, if you go far enough in, and the music stops completely, there will be like some static. And then there's a separate area you can go to, and it'll eventually spit you out in snowy forest of all places. Uh, this seems like I'm not gonna be able to get there today. But I can at least go to, go to snowy forest through Marijuana Goddess and show you what I'm talking about. People who make RPG Maker game, fan games are wizards, because RPG Maker is, um, unwieldy, to say the least. So I have nothing but respect for the people who manage to make good stuff out of it. But now I can actually show off the thing. So, Snowy Forest. We've been here quite a few times, but usually we go up to either Winter Path or Alien Cellar. Fairy Hole to Ripple Passage. That's the that's where it spits you out. I imagine you can also go the opposite direction. And just go from from uh, this fairy hole 
through Ripple Passage to the glitch area, and then from the glitch area to Infinite Library. It's quite cool. I also kind of want to want to get better at pixel art. To be perfectly honest, it's part of the reason why I'm doing the brain rot pack. Just like I I, I need practice in some form or fashion because that's the, it's the way you get better at things. I wonder what is how many NPCs have I killed? I I think there's a way to check. Yeah, it's, I think it's his bookshelf. Aww. <laughs> That's adorable, what the heck? Hang on. Game record, there we go. Thirty-four hours, good grief. Body count, 192. I see. Worlds visited approximately 692. Wow. That adds up, because I think there's roughly 900-something worlds total. But yeah, I'm, I think I might just chill. Thanks so much for watching, y'all.